Hello and welcome back to Peer Pub a Thousand Year Door with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, today we will um, board the Excess Express and indeed get an email, apparently. Uh, let's see what, what our um, Game Boy or whatever um, is. Mailbox SP, I guess. Blue Mail. Okay, well, okay, fair enough. Um, that being said, I apparently there's a lackey to here. Okay, well, shall we speak to him or shall we just board the train? We already have our ticket, thanks to some generosity from, of course, the outgoing Don Pianta. So, indeed, let's indeed board the um, XS Express and see what our trip up to Poshley Heights will bring. Of course, we did run into the Shadow Sirens in, at the beginning of, well, towards the end of the last episode, after we helped um, Don Pianta. So, I don't know how this will end, so to speak, because, yeah, um, looks like our trip won't be as easy as Professor Frankly thought it might have been. Well, anyway, um, let us indeed go into, um, well, the... Old Excess Express, because something is going to happen. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Although you kind of experienced the looks back when you were um at the glitz pit there, Yushta. I see what something on the floor looks like a letter or something. Okay, can we pick it up? Well, I'm not sure if we should read it, but don't go to Poshly. A sticky yum yum! Well, that's kind of weird! Um, I don't know. I don't think she'd write sticky yum yum. Seriously. Yeah. Is there anyone we can talk to? Maybe a guard or something? Um, and also over here to the left there, behind the lamp, is a, well, another shine sprite. Also, there's a save point there, if you will, or save block, should I say. Yes, save block, and no, I don't need to save again. So, let's go over this way, and um, there's a rather posh toad here. Zip toad, apparently. I've never heard of him. And again, and we have a cheap, cheap chef here, Chef Shimi. Okay, I'll do that. There's also an item shop here, and you can you, you can buy plenty of super shrooms. Sadly, we don't have the money because I spent a lot of it buying more super shrooms. Let's see who's in this car then. Well, a detective apparently. This um, this detective, this penguin detective was actually in um, the first Paper Mario game. And we have a weird looking weasel here. Okay, and he's apparently coming here on business. Yeah, okay, fair enough. What's in it? Oh, the Babon family from Glitz Pit! We remember these guys! Apparently going to buy a present for a little bub there. Yes, you are indeed speaking to the great Gonzalez. Um, sure, I guess. Um, though winning the glitz pit was a bit more fun, if you ask me. So, I can't get anything. Yeah, some sort of sticky, yummy threat. Yes, there was. Oh, excuse me. Uh, fair enough. Should we tell that penguin detective as well? I don't know, but. Um, let's see. I am gonna go further in. Yeah, because we've already seen the left-hand side of the uh, train. So, oh, they're all gathered together. And, oh dear, my my capture device f messed up again. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. I'm a, I'm very sorry about that. So, anyway, let's actually speak. Ahem! <sighs> I hate it when it does this. Um, we are supposed to speak to the... Well, I'm not sure if we're supposed to speak to them, but something is going on with the sticky threat. But I want to go over to the right-hand side of the 
Um, I mean, we're in room five, I believe. So, um, yeah, let's ride. Okay, let's not ride at Yushta. Uh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's ride Yushta over to. Well, there's room three. Let's see who's in. Well, there's room four as well. Is it, was there anyone in room four? Well, hmm, no one's in there. I'm guessing they're all gathered near near the. Uh, dare I say the thing? And oh boy, that toad's been eating quite a bit, hasn't he? I guess I don't think that's Zip Toad though. Uh, seriously. Unless he's playing the part of the big baby from uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. So, um, what about in here? Uh, ooh, a rather glamorous looking toad. A witch? Well, yes, yes, uh, no, it wasn't you. Uh, the one I'm looking for looks much more like a traditional witch, if you know what I mean. Anyway, what's in room one? No one! No one's in here, and the uh, postcards. Okay, so this apparently is where Zip Toad is, I guess, and we don't want to open that door, that's, um, that's the exit, I guess. If we go through here, um, here's the engine. So, yeah. So, I don't want to fill it full of, um, thing. Um, they do indeed look, um, very luxurious indeed, and I thought you were going to stop there. Anyway. I guess we'll have to go and speak to everyone uh, back in the um, dining car because, well, um, it's going to be a thing, I guess. Let's go through then and get on Yushta's back. Indeed, uh, yeah. Yushta, I think I'm going to keep through most of this. Unless I need another um, member of my party, but never mind. Let's see what's going on here then. And let's speak. To our, hmm. uh, why? What's happened now? Maybe we'll have to speak to that penguin detective. Your master beast? Don't you mean masterpiece? Uh, yes, you do mean your masterpiece. So your dinner's gone. Who pinched it then? Oh dear, we have a mystery here. Let's speak to our uh, penguin uh, detective here. Yeah, I guess. Um, I don't know, um, not Hercule Poirot. Oh, no, he kind of looks more like a cross between, looks more like a penguin Sherlock Holmes, if you ask me. Yeah, I guess. Yes, a mystery! What kind of dish? Um, who pinched the dish? Okay, so this guy is Pennington. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you're a detective. If the um, if the hat didn't give it away, trying to borrow from Sherlock Holmes, then definitely the uh, spyglass does. Okay, who's going? Ooh, is it the audience here? Is this the sticky situation I'm thinking of? What? But you can't talk through that without making, without. Uh, um. Seriously, I know Sherlock Holmes was a bit of a, well, um, unhinged, shall we say? But God damn it, Pennington! Um. Yeah, you are no Sherlock Holmes, mate. Any of them. Shall we look for evidence? Evidence is needed to um, to uncover a crime, I think. Uh, someone pinched the pot. Yeah, we don't know who the culprit is and we need to find the pot. That is how we found the thing. We need to find some evidence. We do have some evidence in form of that letter. You're going back to your room. Well, hmm. Yeah, I, well, I don't know if he's highly suspicious. Zip Toad, well, he's right there, but does he have anything on him? Yeah, um... 
Okay, this is no, no way to detect in person. <laughs> Tweety Geezer! I didn't think I would come into the thing! Tweety Geezer! <laughs> Who did it? We need evidence! Seriously, Pennington's a really crappy detective. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, I really am sorry. Yeah, very lame. So, why don't we speak to Pennington again? Yeah, we have, because we're the main character. Uh, we're not the perpetrator, we don't even have the pot on our purse. How is this penguin a detective? I mean, yeah, I know Sherlock Holmes was a private detective, but maybe that's it. Maybe like Sherlock Holmes, he is a. <laughs> okay, where the hell is this penguin's Watson to his Holmes? He needs a Doctor Watson. Seriously, the straight man to his Sherlock. Yeah, so long as it's not John C. Riley's one. Uh, right, okay, so. Uh, where can we find. Oh! Something on the ground here! What the hell is this? A clue? Du -du -du uh, what shall we do about this? Yeah, well, maybe we should inform Pennington or something. Maybe it's that rather obese toad who was. was. I guess. Uh, but maybe we should ask Pennington for help. Yeah. Where does this trail lead? Then again, I'm guessing we're gonna have to be the thing here. So, the trail leads up to car number three. Who's in here? Well, the rather obese toad is here. Burp! That don't sound... Uh, were you just eating something? Yeah. Well, there was a trail. Yeah. I wouldn't blame the fat guy unless there was evidence. No looking in the drawer, eh? Well, we know what to do there. Let's look at Gourmet Food Magazine and Food of the... Oh my god. Yeah, there's something under... Magazines. Yep, yeah, the the rather chubby toad is the the, the the cool brick. Well, now we know the thing. Um, I think we've already ascertained that, but um, brief woman of stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah, we could say that. Um, I don't know, but, yeah. Yeah, we apprehended him. Unkempt facial hair. Uh, pretty much, yep. Yeah. Really? Okay. Room six. Okay, fair enough. So, we, um... Yeah, that's the least you can do. Or oh, maybe Mario should do that. In that case, I will do it with Mario. Someone better clean up that mess there, seriously. While I deliver it back to the chef. Indeed. And I am very sorry for Pennington. Well, you get the idea, so let's speak to the thing. Yeah, we found the thief. And we also found the pot. Which may have beef in it, I don't know. Uh, no problem. Okay. Um, show me. Please fake it. I'm not gonna fake gratitude. I'm not that sort of. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. We'll take the star piece. We want to find some more a little later, I think. Anyway, I am gonna save, and we will speak to Pennington in the next episode. So I will see you then. Goodbye!